the incredible stride of India into the world of biotechnology began in the year 1986 with the establishment of the Department of Biotechnology. I vividly recall years back when the Department of Biotechnology had just been set up. Not much was known among the common masses about what it was all about and sometimes we had to make an extra effort actually to explain what the mandate and agenda of this department was. But it is heartening to see and in fact a vindication of sorts that over the years the Department of Biotechnology has come of age and more and more citizens, scholars and researchers are coming forward to show interest, particularly the youngsters. And in the last few years, ever since Prime Minister Narendra Modi gave a boost to the Start Up India, Stand Up India campaign and the movement, biotechnology has become a very favorite area for startups. The Department of Biotechnology fostered bioscience innovation, translation and entrepreneurship ecosystem with a focus on generation of biotech products, processes and technologies spanning areas of agriculture, animal biotechnology, food and nutritional security, affordable healthcare, environmental safety and clean energy. DBT along with its 15 theme-based autonomous research institutions, ICGEB and Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council, BIRAC, contributed towards national missions such as Swast Bharat, Swachh Bharat, Startup India and Make in India. The robust ecosystem nurtured by DBT over the years played a key role in combating the COVID-19 pandemic focused on testing, tracking and protection. The COVID-19 consortium initiated by DBT and BIRAC in March 2020 and Indian SARS-CoV-2 genomic consortium enabled COVID testing, genomic surveillance, vaccines and diagnostic development and other biomedical interventions for a rapid response to tackle COVID-19 pandemic. DBT has established city and regional clusters across the country to scale up COVID testing in a hub and spoke model. DBT Autonomous Institutions THSTI, ICGEB, RGCB, CDFD, INSTEM, NCCS, IBSD, NII and ILS have significantly contributed in COVID-19 testing. So far, a large number of samples have been tested, utilizing these facilities. The indigenous plug-and-play manufacturing facility at Andhra MedTech Zone, supported by DBT and BIRAC, has developed the nation's first mobile diagnostics laboratory, iLab, for enhancing testing in remote and inaccessible areas. iLabs are currently functional at various parts of the country, including the Northeast region. DBT and BIRAC has strengthened indigenous production of RT-PCR kits, rapid antigen and antibody diagnostic kits. BIRAC, a PSU of DBT has been set up as an industry academia interface to promote public-private partnership. BIRAC has responded proactively to COVID-19 pandemic by supporting and facilitating development of diagnostic kits, PPEs, ventilators and also established AMTZ Command Consortium. Major emphasis has been on strengthening vaccine development ecosystem and also development of indigenous vaccine candidates. To fully understand the spread and evolution of the SARS-CoV-2 virus and to tackle its future spread, sequencing and analyzing the genomic data of SARS-CoV-2 was required. The Indian SARS-CoV-2 Genomics Consortium, INSACOG, a network of 52 genome sequencing laboratories and 300-plus sentinel sites, was jointly set up by the Department of Biotechnology along with CSIR Laboratories and Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to monitor genomic variations of COVID-19 virus. Together, the INSA-COG laboratories have contributed to sequencing of over 2 lakhs viral genomes. 
INSACOG surveillance measures contributed to the COVID-19 outbreak response, which includes tracking the spread of the virus, track the mutations that could potentially influence pathogenicity and transmission. The genomic information generated by INSACOG is also useful in development of diagnostics, vaccines and therapeutics. The country is now ready to extend INSACOG network for genomic sequencing and surveillance in the neighboring countries. Research and development efforts of DBT to build infrastructure, human resources and innovation ecosystem over the years and fast tracking of regulatory reforms expedited the biotech process and product development during the COVID-19 pandemic. DBT also supported multiple vaccine technology platforms through National Biopharma and COVID Suraksha missions. DBT supported the world's first COVID-19 DNA vaccine, Zykov D, and the nation's first protein subunit vaccine, Corbivax, received emergency use authorization. Besides, the nation's first mRNA vaccine and intranasal vaccine developed are at advanced stage of development. DBT also strengthened the vaccine development ecosystem by providing institutional support for rapid ramp-up of animal challenge facilities, immunoassay laboratories and clinical trial sites, which are instrumental in demonstrating vaccine safety and efficacy. Immunoassay Laboratory at THSTI Faridabad is recognized as one of the seven laboratories globally for centralized assessment of COVID-19 vaccines. So the Department of Biotechnology actually expeditiously put up, put use to all its academic ecosystem that they had they have created in the biotech area to be examined, to be able to examine and carry forward the activities related to pandemic. And they were done it in a, in a way that you could actually do diagnostic work, you could develop vaccines, you could also track the variants by doing genome sequencing activities. And the vaccine development by itself is not a, not a very simple thing because one needs to develop clinical sites, one needs to develop various uh, animal models, challenge animal models to be able to look at what are the kind of various uh, essays that one needs to develop. And all of these activities were done across autonomous institutions of Department of Biotechnology. Through the Partnerships for Advancing Clinical Trials program, a science diplomacy initiative in collaboration with the Ministry of External Affairs, DBT has facilitated strengthening clinical trial capacities across 14 neighboring and friendly countries. The department also enabled rapid scale-up of COVID-19 vaccine manufacturing capabilities of Indian industry, augmentation of manufacturing facilities for enhanced co-vaccine production, was supported at Bharat Biotech International Limited BBIL and the Indian Immunologicals Limited IIL Hyderabad, which are both functional. It gives me immense pleasure to congratulate and compliment the Department of Biotechnology, its secretary and the entire team, the scientific fraternity on the occasion of their foundation day. It has achieved a unique glory and distinction for itself during the pandemic times because it was in this department that the trials of the DNA vaccine were conducted. It is again this department which is spearheading the trials of a nasal vaccine. And that is why in the last few months or so, you find more and more of youngsters coming forward, showing keen interest to become a part of the biotechnology projects because they find in it not only the prospects of research, the prospects of study, but also the prospects of startups and also the prospects of livelihood through futuristic means. And as we move through these 25 years of Amrita Mahotsav and India turns 120-47, I am sure it is the futuristic streams of science like biotechnology which would have led India to that pedestal and to that glory. Moving ahead, DBT is committed to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic in a safe, effective and affordable manner by testing, tracking and protecting the country from COVID pandemic with a focus to make the country self-reliant.
आत्मनिर्भर भारत एंड फुलफिल द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ सर्विंग नॉट जस्ट द नेशन बट द इंटायर वर्ल्ड विद द मोटो ऑफ वसुधैव कुटुंबकम